Classification is when you divide things into categories and describe each of those categories. This is what you do in a classification essay. You take a certain topic and divide it into groups or types that you want to discuss and then use those categories to write your essay. That is what we're going to look at in this video. So what is a classification essay? A classification essay categorizes and classifies things into different groups and gives examples for each. It may compare or show a preference for one over another. Here are a few example topics that could be used for this type of essay. You might write about the types of artists, or the classification of historical events in Europe, or dancing styles. Each of these topics would be divided into categories, and then each category would be explained. Here are a few things you should do when writing a classification essay. You should classify things based on the property they possess. What are the specific characteristics about the topic that you want to use to write your essay? You should describe or define each category. Making a list of main characteristics is also important. You should discuss each of the categories. And if possible, provide the same number of examples for each category. When deciding what to write about your topic, you should choose something that's interesting and avoid writing about things that are obvious. You should include facts, examples, and pros and cons about the topic if appropriate. Let's take the topic about the types of fruit. You might choose these three categories to write your essay. Fruits that are easy to grow, or that have the best source of vitamin C, or those that are best for long-term storage. You would then think of or research for some examples for each of these categories that you could use to write your body paragraphs for your essay. You would then use each of these types to write your three body paragraphs. This is how you would organize your essay. The first thing you want to do is to write your introduction paragraph. You might write something like this. Fruits are an essential food for a healthy diet. Most people eat fruit regularly and choose the types of fruit depending on their needs. Fruit can be divided into several groups, including those that are easy to grow, have the best source of vitamin C, as well as those that are good for long-term storage. The last sentence is our thesis statement for this essay. This clearly states what will be discussed in the essay. If you need more help writing a thesis statement, be sure to check out my video about that topic. We will now use our three types to begin writing our body paragraphs. The first body paragraph will talk about fruit that are easy to grow. You can see here our topic sentence says, Although there are many types of fruit, some are easier to grow than others. In the rest of this paragraph, you would write about the different fruits that are easy to grow. You will then write your second type about fruit that are high in vitamin C. Again, our topic sentence shows clearly what this topic will be about. To stay healthy, many consumers choose fruit that are especially high in vitamin C. In this paragraph, you will give more examples of fruit that fit this type. And then we'll write our final paragraph about food that can be stored for longer periods of time. Now you can see that by using our categories, we can write our topic sentences and then add more information in each paragraph, giving examples and other explanations about that type of fruit. Finally, we'll write our conclusion paragraph. We might write something like this. In conclusion, the methods that people use to determine which kind of fruit they choose can vary. 
Some choose according to how easy it is to grow at home. Others decide by the content of vitamin C. And others choose depending on the ability to store the fruit for longer periods of time. Therefore, because fruits are an important part of our diet, how the food will be chosen will depend on the needs or desires of the individual. Now, in the essay that we just finished writing, we used three types of fruit using these specific categories and gave examples for each one. We could also write a classification essay in the following way. We could take just our category of easy to grow and use our examples as different types of fruit that are easy to grow and write body paragraphs about each of these types. In this case, we'll start again with our introduction and write an essay about the types of fruit that are easy to grow. Here is a possible introduction for this essay. More people are becoming interested in growing their own food in recent years. Along with growing their own vegetables, many gardeners are also choosing to grow their own fruit. The types of fruit that can be grown in an average garden can vary. However, for most households, the easiest fruits to grow are strawberries, blueberries, and figs. You can see that our thesis statement, again, is clearly stated at the end of our introduction paragraph. We'll now write our first type of easy to grow fruits. The body paragraph would start something like this. For most gardeners, strawberries may be the best choice. And then you would give more information and some examples in your essay. You would then continue with your second type of fruit, blueberries. Blueberries are another good choice as they not only provide fruit, but can also be grown in containers and can add color to a patio or a deck. And then you would continue and write another paragraph about figs. Now all you have to do is to write your conclusion. As can be seen, growing fruit does not need to be difficult. Whether choosing strawberries, blueberries, or figs, these fruit varieties should provide the average gardener with fresh fruit for many years. Classification essays follow the basic essay structure of essay writing. Try to make sure that when you write this type of essay, that you keep it interesting. Avoid the obvious and show clearly how you've divided or classified this topic in your essay. If you want more help learning how to write essays, you might want to check out these workbooks that I have available about the essentials of academic writing and how to write different types of essays. The link is in the description below. I have other videos about how to write other different types of essays that you might also want to check out. Happy writing!